Reading Pioneers is proud to present How to Be a Superhero and Change the World, an inspirational story for kids about kindness and how their actions change the world. Written by Tara Steele. On my way home from school, one bright afternoon, I saw a real flying saucer that came from the moon. It came down with a whoosh in a gleaming gold glow. As my heart beat so fast, and as time moved so slow. Then a figure appeared as the door opened wide, and a real live alien stepped out from inside. She sparkled like sunshine with a smile that shone bright, and she reached out her hand, and she filled me with light. Then I felt myself move. I rose up in the air as the light here grew dark, and then here became there. I was inside the spaceship, and we shot up so high, then we zoomed off like lightning to the top of the sky. Then the alien spoke. I'm Sally. She smiled. Please don't be afraid, my beautiful child. She told me we'd fly on a voyage so great, on a journey through time, through the seconds of fate. You'll change the whole world, Sally shouted with glee. Be a brave superhero, set your superpowers free. And I laughed as we zoomed through dark tunnels in space and bright ripples in time and through magic stargates. Then the sparkles grew dark as the spaceship slowed down. We went down with a bump by my school in the town. We walked to the playground, though no one could see. She had made us invisible, Sally and me. Then I suddenly knew, as I watched my friends play, we had gone back in time. We were in yesterday. And I got a huge shock when I looked round to see a small boy running past, a small boy who was me. Then I watched me slow down as a girl caught my eye, a girl with long pigtails who had started to cry. She stood all alone with her back to the wall, and I watched how I'd seen her and done nothing at all. And I felt so ashamed as we watched the girl cry. Why hadn't I helped her? Why hadn't I tried? Don't worry, said Sally. You can try it once more. Let's rewrite this timeline. That's what time travel's for. So again, the world whizzed. As again we took flight, and again we moved backwards through time and starlight. And invisible once more, we were able to hide on our spot in the playground near the girl who had cried. Now change it, said Sally. Ask your heart to do more. Change your mind with your superpowers. That's what they're for. So I looked right at me, at the me who ran past, and I focused my mind, and he slowed down so fast. Then I watched as I turned to the girl by the wall, asked her why she was crying. Could I help her at all? And in time the girl smiled as I watched while we talked, and in time we were laughing as we chatted and walked. Then I felt Sally's touch, and she turned me around. We got back on the spaceship and left the playground. I've got something to show you, Sally said, smiling bright, and she showed me a screen 
made of metal and light. Just watch it, she said. Here's the first time. Just see. And I looked at the screen, saw the girl, and saw me. And I watched me do nothing as the little girl cried. Then I watched her walk home with a weary, sad stride. Then I saw her that night as she went to her bed, and she still looked so sad as she lay down her head. But then the screen changed to the time when I tried, to the time when I helped her and asked why she cried. I saw her walk home, a small smile on her face, and a bounce in her step as she quickened her pace. I watched her whole family as they sat down that night, and the house filled with love as the girl smiled so bright. And they all felt so happy as the love filled the air, all because I had tried and I took time to care. Just look, said Sally. See how powerful you are? You changed one little thing. And things shifted so far. Sally cried in delight. They all felt your power. You gave love just once. But it bloomed like a flower. And somehow I knew, as she smiled down at me, that the love would keep growing like a beautiful tree. Each one in that family would pass the love on to a friend or a stranger who'd then move it along. And from person to person, the whole world could transform because love's never wasted. It just changes form. Our mission was over and I cried out in glee. I'm a real superhero when I set my heart free. Sally blew me a kiss as we waved our goodbyes, and she smiled at me softly as she left for the skies. And the last thing I heard was her voice on the breeze, like a song from above, like the wind through the trees. You all have this power, my beautiful child. And I felt so much joy as I sighed and I smiled. So, just keep being kind, Sally called from above. And you'll change the whole world with the power of love. Thank you, Pioneers, for reading with us today to the book how to Be a Superhero and Change the World by Tara Steele. I hope you enjoyed the reading and this book and show your support for Tara by visiting her website, tarasteele.com and checking out her amazing work. I really liked the book because I always wonder about the things that happen and how they would change with one little difference. And this book, greatly illustrates the effect that kindness and love can have on others. You can find this book on Amazon by clicking the link in the description box down below. If you have a book you'd like to be read on this channel, please send me an email, contact at readingpioneers.com, so we can turn it into the next video. Also, it would really help this channel if you like the video and subscribe to stay updated with future readalouts coming soon. Unfortunately, this is it for today. While waiting for the next upload, we have a playlist on the left of other inspirational stories, and on the right is our most recent read aloud. Thanks again, readers, for joining us today, and until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.